and welcome to this episode of Monster Model Review. I'm host Chris Gerke, and in this episode, we're going to be reviewing a Muck Times pre-paint statue of The Pit and the Pendulum. The Pit and the Pendulum was released in 1961. It was directed by Roger Corman and starred Vincent Price, Barbara Steele, John Kerr, and Luana Andrews. Set in 16th century Spain, the story is about a young Englishman who's investigating the death of his sister. After a series of horrific revelations, apparent ghost appearances, and violent deaths, the young man becomes strapped to the bladed torture device by his lunatic brother-in-law during the film's climactic sequence. This statue has kind of an interesting history. It was originally released as a model kit about five years ago. Being there hasn't been very many kits based on Vincent Price, this kit was on my must-have list. Of course, on the list and on my shelf are two different things. The kit had two production runs, and I just never got a chance to buy it. Well, fast forward, and Amok Time has gone ahead and turned the kit into a prepaint. Sculpted by William Paquette, this statue has the best likeness on any kit that I've ever seen. The clothing is smoothly rendered, and the base has nicely textured stone. Now on the model kit, the cauldron was cast in clear resin so the modeler could light it if they wanted to. Well, Amok Time has gone ahead and made it easy for owners of this statue. All you have to do is add batteries and your coals are glowing red. Another cool feature are where the hands attach. Instead of using the standard pin, the producers embedded magnets in the arms and robe. This way, it really makes the statue easy to transport if you want to. As far as the paint job goes, I was very pleased with the work that went into it. Most of the time you get that sloppy monochromatic color scheme. Not here folks, the robe is nicely shaded the dry brush on the base is well done, and the color done on the coals in the cauldron is pretty sweet. I can't say enough good things about this statue or recommend it enough. This is a prime example of what can happen when quality is put above making a quick buck. You'd better hurry though, the statue is limited to 500 pieces. Well that wraps it up for this episode of Monster Model Review. If you have any comments or questions, you can contact us off our website, monstermodelreview.com.